Hello everybody, Greg Stagger here, your K-12 tech guy, with a video to share with you one of my favorite free tools out there. This particular tool is called Zoomit, and as the name implies, it allows you to zoom in on different parts of your screen. Uh, but besides zooming in, you also have a couple other capabilities. One is to annotate on your screen, both uh, freehand as well as typing and you also have a break timer that comes with it so uh, a couple of extra neat things now I know Windows comes with its own on-screen magnifier but uh, over the years I've just not really been that happy with how well it performs um, the user experience was a little bit clunky for me um, so uh, at some point I was just on the hunt uh, for something that worked better uh, and I landed on Zoomit and uh, just really liked the way that it worked um, for me. So uh, I'm going to share it with you and if it's something that you uh, think you might like to try as well I'll have the website uh, link included in the blog and uh, feel free to check it out. So here we go. Let's take a look at Zoomit and what it can do. Well first of all you see I've got the Zoomit uh, already downloaded and the Zoomit.exe icon is on my screen here. Now I'm going to go ahead and launch this by double clicking on that and it, you know it doesn't look like anything happened but if you were watching your display carefully you would notice that down in the system tray which is that spot just to the left of your clock generally on the right hand side of your display at the bottom uh, there's all those little icons down below and uh, an icon that looks just like this one would pop up in that system tray to let you know that the program is running so now to activate the zoom I am going to, by default, uh, hold down the control key and tap the number one. And when I do that, it's going to zoom in on wherever I've got my mouse cursor. So, you know, if I've got it up here in the corner or down here in the corner, it'll zoom in and center on the mouse cursor. So I'm going to center right here on the zoom in icon, hit control one. And look at that, you see it zooms in right there on the file. And what it actually does here is it gives me um, a screenshot of my desktop. Okay, so now I can, you know, move around with the uh, mouse and view the entire desktop in a zoomed in mode. Uh, what's interesting is you can see here my clock has paused because it has given me this screenshot to go through and zoom with things. Okay, now what I can do is annotate on the desktop as well. So I can choose to left click, and when I left click, I get a little crosshairs here. So now I can freehand draw, you know, to bring attention to certain things. You know, maybe we're working on a screen sharing session or something like that. That'll give you that functionality. Also, I can uh, type on here as well. So if I ho hit the letter T, it will bring up a cursor uh, for typing. See, the, like a little up down pipe type cursor. And then I can type just as I would with the keyboard right on the screen and get rid of things. So a very handy tool there potentially for folks that might do, you know, some screen sharing to, you know, highlight some things or bring attention to things for folks. Um, now again, that was just a screenshot type view. You can also have a live zoomed in view. So I'm going to do that by hitting Control 4. And again, that's by default. You can actually change those mappings if you like. But now instead of just being able to move around on the screen, I have an active mouse cursor, which means I can right click and get the menus to pop up um, and, and things like that. So um, that means I can navigate the computer, browse for files, all within this zoomed in view. So that can be very, very handy as well. So I'll hit Control 4 one more time just to get out of there and back to the normal view. Now also I've got the ability to have a screen timer. This may or may not be useful for you, but if I hit Control 3, up comes a little screen timer. By default it's set at 10 minutes, but I can use the up down arrows on the keyboard to adjust that time. Up down, okay, and just have that timer run. In your options you can set that to also 
you know play a sound file or something when it hits zero or you you know I can have a you know something besides white in the background here you know some kind of a wallpaper uh, with that as well so a little timer to put up on the screen uh, if you're presenting perhaps someplace and you know you're giving your audience uh, you know 10 or 15 minutes to collaborate or work together on something this is a real quick and easy way to bring this up and have it set for however many minutes as folks are working so possible use there we'll hit escape to get out of that so uh, again zoom it is a free tool you can't beat the price and and I have found that it's just really helpful uh, I like the functionality it's very easy to use and zoom in and zoom out and the annotation piece has come in handy on more than one occasion as well so again we'll have the link for you in the blog post and hopefully this was helpful have an awesome day